Hello all, welcome to my channel GCP Data Engineering. Okay, in our previous video, we have seen how we can create developer cluster using CLI commands, and also we have seen how we can run PySpark job using Google Cloud Console, right? So, in this video, I will try to demonstrate how we can automate. There are three steps we are going to perform as part of this demo how to create data pack cluster and how to run PySpark job and how to delete data pack clusters once that job is completed. These are the three steps we have automated using shell script. Okay. So now there are two concepts we have to understand why we have to do this right why you why we have to create cluster and then run job and then delete data pack cluster so what is advantage of it right and also as part of our earlier video we have seen a concept we have spoken about a concept called separation of compute and storage right so instead of storing data in data pack cluster that is in Hadoop distributed file system we have stored data into a GCS packet and uh, we have read the data into PySpark RDD and then we have applied series of transformation and uh, we have written that data into BigQuery. So as part of this demo in the second step right run PySpark job I have been using the same script which was used in our last demo where I am trying to read data from GCS and then apply transformation and write the data into BigQuery right. Then we once we clear about these two concepts like separation of storage and compute and then automation of data pack cluster creation and deletion then we will be pretty much clear right what is the advantage we are getting uh, while going with this option right so if we if you are creating a data pack cluster and if that cluster is not gonna live for long then we call that concept as a ephemeral cluster that means this, that cluster is a job specific cluster we are not going to use that cluster for common job processing for common workload processing for example let's say if there is a requirement you have to process workload or data on daily basis then you are not going to use this concept or this cluster ephemeral cluster for example let's say there is a one-time requirement right you have to process data and you have to store the data into some data warehouse like BigQuery, then you are not no longer required that data pack cluster to be maintained in the future. Definitely, you can look into this option, ephemeral clusters. This is very much useful, right? That is where this is like separation of compute and storage will help a lot, right? That concept. Because you are not going to store your data into data pack cluster itself, cluster nodes. You are going to somewhere, you are going to store the data somewhere else that is in Google Cloud Storage. That means once you delete the cluster, right, there won't be any data loss, right. For example, you have processed the data and you have stored that input data or part of the process data into Google Cloud Storage packet and you have deleted the data per cluster. What happens? Next time, whenever you require that data to be processed further and then definitely you can again create the data per cluster and you process the data again, delete the cluster ephemeral cluster okay this is very much helpful in such kind of requirement where you are going to process data one time or else weekly ones or monthly ones you don't want to maintain the cluster right and also once you delete the data pack cluster you are not going to pay for that compute and storage right you will save lot of cost right you, these are the few important points we should understand before going for the demo right so this is these are the steps i'm going to perform okay i'm going to create the cluster in the first step then i'm going to run PySpark job and i will delete the cluster okay let's move on to the demo so before going to the demo let me also try to explain the code high level right so let me go to the code so anyway, you know the script as part of my previous demo, I've clearly explained step by step. So this is where we are storing our input data. 
right G, this is packet and then we are performing series of transformations right data cleaning and data aggregation and then we are trying to data into a BigQuery table this is the table which we are going to create right once you are able to run this script successfully you will be able to see this table is getting created in this data set okay so now we'll go to the actual shell script where we have automated this entire process that right? this is the first step where you are going to create your cluster right these are the different configurations we are applying when creating the cluster so region and master node type worker nodes number of worker nodes mission type and the image version of the machine and scopes and also this is very important we are going to install PySpar BigQuery connector right because we are going to write data into a BigQuery table we need to have this connector available in our data pack cluster nodes otherwise by default you will be getting this BigQuery connector available in the data pack cluster right once this is successfully created right we are going to run our PySpark job this PySpark job is staged or already stored into GCS packet right and then we are specifying our, our cluster name where we are going to run this job right and the region of the cluster right once this is successfully done we are going to delete this cluster right we are specifying region and the cluster name and hyphen q is a, a special option where you would like to mute all your user interaction uh, output right you don't want to give any user inputs while running that particular command you can mute it by using this option right so these are the three steps we have automated now we are going to perform all these three steps so i'm going to run this shell script and we have to monitor that's you are not going to perform any other task so what it will do in the first step it will create data per cluster and it will install bigquery connector on top of that cluster then it will run the job right and it will delete that cluster that means you are not going to store any input data or our script onto data per cluster no instead you are storing that into a gc spec okay let us go to the demo just examine our bigquery data set also if you see we have this data set it's an empty data set we don't have any table available over here once you run your PySpark job it will create that resultant table into this data set and then just try to examine our google cloud storage also this is the bucket where you are storing your input raw data and also your code right now we are going to perform our step our demo right so let me run i'm just running this this is the same script which i've placed this script into a cloud shell environment so i'm going to perform this demo from our cloud shell environment this is the same script this one right let me exclude this now it says creating data pack cluster in asia software region it will take some time two to three minutes uh, please have some patient patience right uh, so that because i don't want to uh, basically uh, switch off this recording and then I'll come back to the recording so i want to monitor this job okay we take three to four minutes to create the cluster and then once that create the cluster immediately it will submit that by spark job then immediately it will delete that cluster we have to monitor that in our google cloud console page right so let me go to our data product cluster console you can see it says this cluster is provisioning it takes some time okay two workers zone region and the name of the cluster okay okay and also let me extend my discussion on this code actually now you can see whatever the input arguments are being given while creating my data product cluster right are most of the arguments are hard coded if you see i'm clearly right 
hard coding all my options region zone master node type right and worker node types number of workers and scopes right and uh, the query connector uh, the option and everything here what you can do is in order to reuse reuse the script right or else scale this script right for other requirement right you have to what you can do you can define environment variables right for example let's say as per as part of my current requirement i want my master node as a n1 standard to disk size is 100 right number of workers to let's say if i want in, in my next requirement if i want some different machine type definitely you can parameterize this option by using your environment variable you can try to pass those variables using our shell script input arguments right and also please notice and observe and try to research yourself right whenever you create a data cluster you are not going to specify a service account explicitly right so it's going to use a default compute even service account behind the scene right otherwise if you want right to use a new service account altogether a dedicated service account altogether right you have to create that service account and you have to specify the service account while creating the cluster using cli or else google cloud console right see now the cluster is created okay you can see cluster is running now it has submitted the PySpark job clearly see it has submitted right to click on this see that job is already running once this job completion once this job is done or completed successfully what you can see this data per cluster will be deleted and you won't be able to see any information over here right that's why I don't want to switch off my recording in between. Now you can see this Spice Park job is currently running, right? You can immediately come over here and you can observe the job which is in running state, right? Succeeded, right? That means you should be able to see your resulted table is created in our BigQuery dataset. Now just go back. See deleting now it is getting deleted in my third step it says waiting for cluster deletion operation this is a job success status by star job success status now it will take uh, for for creation it will take more time but deletion is not taking too much time it will be deleted soon right? done you can see deleted this particular cluster data per cluster deleted successfully so go to data per cluster see there is nothing it has been vanished okay yeah now go to the bigquery just refresh this page right go to the data set now you can see your output table right this is a main application of ap Mirror cluster right where you are processing that the data one time and if you want you can store that output data in the query rs to gcs bucket then immediately delete your data plot cluster so that there won't be any data loss okay okay thank you thank you very much and we will meet in the next video thank you